Hello, today I've got a 2008 Vauxhall Corsa D uh, petrol. It has a complaint of an intermittent heater motor, as far as I can make out. The speed of the motor rather than the temperature. So I'm just going to see what we've got here. That's fan speed control. No noise. On any speed. This has previously had a blower motor resistor, but as you can see, there's no speed. I'm just going to give it a tap over here. There we go. I'm not sure if you can hear that on the camera. Put it on. Put it on vent. Hope you get the wind noise. Just a little bit noisy as well. Working fine now, giving it a tap. Sounds a bit rough. And when I was driving it back here, the speed of the fan would vary during the journey on its own, even though it's manual controls. That the motor would bog down every now and again. You hear that? Just tapping around the the motor varies the speed of it. So, I'm going to take the glove box out, expose it, and then uh, do some measurements, have a visual on it, and see where we go from there. Just having a look with the uh, thermal image camera, as it's quite new to me. This, I just want to try it out on a few things. Um, just having a look at temperature. This this area here is the heater housing. And this area here, where the pointer is at the moment, is the blower resistor. Um, they're quite common for melting the uh, the looms at the connection of the resistor. But um, fairly, it's fairly cool in here. Let's see if I can get that pointer on there. That's the resistor right there. And the wiring temperature there is 16 degrees. Not particularly hot at all and then the bottom of the uh, fan housing wires going into that I can get on them sorry about the camera work I'm struggling to try and film it as well that's your wires that's your wires there the connector what temperature are we on 12 degrees on those wires, nothing hot there. I'll pull the plugs out and have a look at them, see if there's any burning, but I'm just suspecting this is literally just a fan. A failing fan. Uh, so picture of it exposed without the uh, thermal image camera, the black area is your fan, wiring connector here, the blower resistor is in here, 
Like I say, that has previously been replaced. We'll have a look at the connector on it. At the moment, the fan is continuing to run. Okay, got it on speed four, on amp clamp. An amp clamp and power at the motor. And we're drawing just over 20 volts there. The pattern's a little bit all over the place. I'll pause it there. Um, the red, the blue trace, we're at battery voltage. 13.79. Zoom is in there. So got a low got a low one there I think that might be the matching one there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, another low one, yeah, so it's the armature on the motor, 12 segments, and we've got quite a variation in pattern there, that should be a fairly, should be a fairly nice sine wave really, that's uh, it's a little bit choppy for my liking, I think we're going to call on a new motor on this one and then if I put a motor I'll uh, I'll show you a pattern with a new one installed. Show you that again. It's at full speed, speed four, peaking out about 24 and a half amps. Come on, focus. Okay, old and new motors, old on the right. Just going to have a look at the uh, the armature in there. And you can see there it's fairly heavily scored up. Although there's, there's a little bit left on the brushes, it's pretty heavily scored. Go over to the new. And you can see the difference in there. It's a lot cleaner looking. And this one again, see the score marks all over the armature. I'll fit the new one and then we'll see what the uh, see what pattern we've got on the, uh, the scope. Okay, new motor installed. <clears throat> so it's drawing less current than the previous one. We're probably averaging there uh, 20 amps. The other one was about 24. And the pattern's a lot more consistent. Oh, pause it there. It's much more consistent, it hasn't got the peaks and the troughs of the old ones. Okay, just loaded the old one up. That's the old one, and if I open the, the later one up, you'll see the difference. It's much more uniform and using less amps. Pretty sure that is going to be there you go, such a difference between the two. I'm sure there's a way on Pico that I can overlay them on top of each other. I will try and work out how to do it one day. But hopefully, I'm going to give it a test, let it cool down, start it up again, make sure the fan is consistent with its speed. And uh, 
give it a good road test. Hopefully that's that sorted and on to the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye now.